I hope we will get a less stressful future, <laughs> but uh, uh, this maybe also we just get uh, like uh, electrical monks, like from Douglas Adams' uh, book. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. And I'm again joined by AI pioneer Bill Seaman and artist Mario Klingman. In this episode, we talk about the future of AI. How do you see AI developing the future or generating the future at this point? It will just be as normal as having a phone, right? You will take it for granted that you have your AI assistance for, for pretty much everything. Being able to create anything that you want, which means kind of what I'm doing now, well, I will not be needed anymore, right? Because everybody can do that. I mean, hopefully there will still be artists needed to take them the next step, but that's very hard to say what that will be. And Bill, in response to this question of AI generating the future? I think with the idea of neosentience, we're really trying to study the body and how the body works on the deepest level, and then abstract that into a computational system. What will happen in terms of society if a machine becomes autonomous and begins to have creativity and assumptions about what they want to do with their life? These are gonna be really interesting social questions of our time that I don't so much have the answer to. I like the idea of providing ethics or trying to do the best we can <laughs> at defining a bias. It's a paradox. So we're, we're sort of living at, the, in, at this very interesting moment. I did a work called The Operand. It's a completely generative experimental opera using kind of liturgical singing. It's different each night. And the topic of the piece is the AI thinking about itself and what it's going through <laughs> as these changes are happening. How do you see AI uh, changing our notion of art in the future? And what kind of art do you think we'll see based on how AI art is being generated in the present? Although we've been kind of talking about computers as being separate from us, I also imagine that computers and people are gonna merge together in ways uh, that we're not imagining. And so in a certain way, our embodiment and, and the computer's embodiment might become much closer to being one. I believe that's like, if we ever get the computer brain interface in some way, it's the final frontier actually, because that's like the only place where you can still create art that is different to, let's say, anything audiovisual that we can experience with our current bodies. So that's, I mean, I hope that, that this will happen because I always like new frontiers. Well, I learned a lot today, so thank you so much. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.